Once more under the realm of Star Trek fan fiction, dear friends, 2017, A Chance Encounter. Just a glance at some of the production notes, a lot of the same people that worked on the Holy Core worked on A Chance Encounter, vice versa. 2017, it is a much shorter episode and a much simpler sort of story, but it is so amazingly well acted that it just it is a must see. We have the story of a doctor retired from Starfleet, a researcher who takes a shuttlecraft from a starship goes off to a colony planet that has since been abandoned, and he apparently travels through time to see a young lady by a lake on the planet. There's a sort of follow-up plot. The ship, starship doing its survey cannot break off from the survey, so they send another shuttlecraft after him with a security officer, with two security officers to recover the stolen craft. There's a brief discussion and sort of a subplot as to how to treat this individual Having committed these offenses, does he deserve to be mistreated or smacked down really hard, or should there be mercy? What are the circumstances? There's a brief moment of the seasoned officer trying to explain things to the young, overzealous officer. But the real plot revolves around our doctor, who has gone back in time near the lake to meet his wife, who has since become deceased in the present. He goes back in time to the place where he proposed, where she had a freak out and almost did not marry him, but something had changed her mind by the lake and in a nice time paradox, no causal loop, he goes to the lake to speak with her and she parts ways with him, committed now to going ahead and talking it through with the man that she doesn't realize is his younger self, the man that she loves but has trepidation about spending her whole life with. The uh, Miranda class vessel, although actually technically based on the nacelles, it might be technically a Soyuz class. Anyway, it is uh, clearly within a next generation era of uniforms. It is clearly the Miranda class or one like it is still in service. The shuttlecraft is very nice and consistent and they make no effort to really explain, there's a glowing rock involved with the time travel. No elaborate explanation is given, but none is needed. It's another fine example of doing more with less. Other than a few people in uniforms and otherwise appropriate clothing and a glowing rock by a lake out on a prairie, forest, trees around this lake, a little oasis. Beyond that, you just have a little bit of the ship, a little bit of the shuttlecraft, this is done on a fan production budget, but it is such a touching and emotional story that again, it fits in perfectly with anything else in the Star Trek universe. I would love to be able to see more of things like the Holy Core and a chance encounter. I keep searching the internet. It's hard to find any that are that quality but it feels like within the draconian restrictions of the studio that everything has to be so brief and everything has to be, you know, the, there's all these restrictions and rules, but you can still travel the universe giving us little snippets that they're short enough. You don't have to get everybody's name. It's not the pilot of a new series. The no details are given, but it's like, here's a little snippet of a portrait of part of a day in the life of people in Starfleet here, there, and everywhere in all different eras. And it really comes out well. The Holy Core was really good and a chance encounter. I will put the link below if I remember. Check it out and let me know what you think.